And then you could play with that make run command. And you can kind of see what's happening. Now I want to do, well, let's do the next piece and then we'll, we'll do the other. So you should be able to say help. And if you also said version or dash V, you would get, you know, version information as well. So we've settled that. The next section here is really about seeing the configuration that we're running on. Now, anytime we're dealing with concurrency and top level functions, you're going to see me do this a lot, kind of starting completed sort of messages. And this lets me know that certain go routines have terminated and there's no question about it. You want to find data races and things like that. This type of logging can help a lot. Started completed. But the comp package has a string um, function which takes that configuration and can produce essentially pretty print output for the logs on what we're running. So I'm going to do the following here. I'm going to run this. It will freeze um, and then I'll just shut it down. But I'm going to run it this way. And now if I do make run, when it comes up, we can see the config. Now, I have a problem here. I'm using structured logging, which is great because maybe I'm going to send these logs somewhere to be parsed and managed. But right now, I need to be able to read them. And I can't read JSON this well. And I don't want to pretty print it where it's all across multiple lines. So there's a few things we can do. There are already out there little programs like JQ that can format um, JSON and color, color it and all that good stuff. But I wanted to build my own little sort of log fun program so I could customize certain things over time. And also to share with you that um, with a few lines of code, maybe I think 10 or 20 lines of code, you can really write your own log fumps um, and, and kind of own the readability of your structured logs. For the full course, visit courses.ardenlabs.com.